By the time of this recording, React 19 is already available. If you search for npm React in Google, the first link here will be the npm registry of React. And in the versions, you can see the latest version of React, which is 19. Before that, we had, for example, React 19 Canary version, which you could say is an experimental or beta version that is not recommended to be used in production. But now React 19 is already stable, so we can start using React 19 in our e-commerce project. For that, we need to generate a new application. If you remember, with vid, we do npm create vid at latest, so we need to copy this command. And then in VS Code, you need to navigate to the folder where you need to create this new application. In my case, I will go to the desktop. Then we can paste our command and hit enter, which will create a new vid application. First, we need to choose a project name. For example, we can type e-commerce here and hit enter. Then we need to choose the framework. It can be vanilla JavaScript Vue.js. In our case, it will be a React application. And then we choose the language, which will be in JavaScript. And with that, it generated a new project. You can find that folder that was generated and then drag and drop it into your VS Code Editor. Now we are inside of that newly generated project. First, we need to install the dependencies with npm install command. And after that, we have our application ready. There is one extra step if you are doing this with me right now. If we go to package.json file, you can see that the React version here is still 18. And that's because React 19 just came out and the Vite configuration is not enabled yet with React 19. If you're watching this from a couple of weeks, for example, it will automatically have the React 19 here and you don't need to do any extra steps. But in our case, we need to manually upgrade React and React DOM packages. If we go back to the NPM registry, you can see that the latest version is this one. So we can copy this version. And then in our terminal, we need to run npm install and then the react package. And this is how you upgrade the package in npm. You do react at and then the version. It can be, for example, 19 or you can be more specific, 19.0.0. In our case, 19 is enough because it will install the latest available version in 19. And then we also need to upgrade react DOM similarly to have the same version as react. If we hit enter, this will start upgrading the packages and you will see that it changes real time in the package JSON and now we have the latest version in React. And one more extra step that we need to take is we need to upgrade the types of React and React DOM as well. So we need to run npm install. First we need to upgrade the types React. So we will copy this and then we'll set this to be at 19. And we also need to upgrade the types of React DOM. So we will paste it here and this will be again at 19. And if we hit enter, this will also upgrade these two packages. And now our application is ready to be used. We can run the same script to start our application, npm run dev. And it will be running on this port. We can copy this. And if you open that link, you should see your React application running with the vid configuration.